Well, hello everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play of The Sims 4. This is Nat Wolf, of course, you would know that already. Um, we will be playing a character I've created called Mark Jones. He is la uh, lazy, he is a slob, but he is happy, he is a cheerful sim. And he is gregarious, which means he is friendly, but also means that he likes to talk a lot. And he has just moved into this little cottage over here in Windenburg. And yeah, they've just added the new little neighborhood names. Winsler. Uh, let's see, he has spent most of his starting cash on this. Um, I have remodeled the house uh, and we'll see that later uh, here are the lot traits for the rustic residence and, and you may notice that it looks slightly odd on the lot you'll see why okay so the house is naturally filthy it is also grody this should not bother mark we're gonna find out and then um, things seem to break here which is going to be a bit of a problem for mark because he has no real skill at fixing things and he doesn't exactly have a lot of money to spend on replacing or repairing items now <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into what it is mark will be doing for a living like most little kids, Mark grew up wanting to be a policeman, a fireman, a doctor, a nurse, uh, um, someone in the military. Anyway, one of, one of those things you learn as a kid is a contribution to society that from your teachers. Teacher also being an example of something that kids naturally want to be when they grow up because it's what they've been introduced to well mark hasn't grown out of that mark has decided that he would like to join the police force and so that is what we will have him do and yes as you can see i use mc command center ah uh, Unfortunately, I don't have a computer in this house. We'll have a look over here. Okay. So he is going to join the detective career at a starting uh, level because he has no skills whatsoever. Uh, and as you can see, he will be starting tomorrow, which is Tuesday. At present, it is Monday night at 8.22 p.m. That would be because this is an existing save file with like eight other played sims in it. So, so he's just getting in where he fits in. Okay. Uh, here is his house, which is comfortably furnished for his needs. Uh, you'll see there is an empty room over here that he has not decided what to do with. But he does have a refrigerator. He may try cooking. He has a sink because it came with the house. And he has a bed. And a nice comfortable-ish bathtub because he can't be bothered to stand in the shower. He has a sink that he may or may not ever use. And a toilet that he may or may not ever flush. Now, and then a TV, which is his pride and joy, and he is saving up to buy a larger, more um, enjoyable TV. But for him, any TV is good TV. So, Mark starts work in 12 hours. Now, Mark could just go in and sit down and watch TV. But Mark is also a very friendly person. So what Mark is going to do instead is take a walk down here 
in his socks because he can't be bothered to put on shoes. He's going to go visit the bar and meet some of his new neighbors. Now, the great thing about the Shrieking Llama is that they do have a TV. A much nicer TV than what Mark has. Something he will almost certainly take notice of. But for now, let's look around. So, of course, Mark is going to talk to the first person he finds and start with a friendly introduction. Hamaza, but no bay. Ah, Mistoba. Shuna. Uh huh. the flying All right. Mess. <laughs> We're gonna let them talk a little bit. She's not really hungry, so we're gonna wait on that. Ah, of course he's going to maybe try a friendly, I mean a funny introduction with Jacques over here. Um, Mark's not naturally funny, but he thinks he is. Oh. <laughs> she living? Leaving? Ah, <laughs> uh, Jacques is so nice, he even left. Mm. Mark is too lazy to go dance with Mark. Oh, wow. I thought you had to have charisma to, uh, to a brightened day. Maybe you have to just have it to do it when you're not happy. Talk oh shit! No, 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 no! We're not talking about your club. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, is she not here anymore? That is entirely plausible. Why don't you order a drink, Mark? No, that doesn't seem to be. Does she not work here right now? Okay, well, let's sit and talk to these guys. Let's try a funny introduction with Dominic. And a friendly one with Mortimer. Dominic's leaving. Or <laughs> going to get a drink. Ah, well, Mortimer's feeling playful. Let's tell him something. Let's tell him a silly joke. Uh, oh, let's tell him a Arfin, oh, Jerbui, Nainzo. I can't let Mark take the reins from here. See if this is like Kumbar. Sunzibi to Wabe. Zilnoi, Schmezel Klim Flissera. Are you fixing to change chairs? Oh, no, he's. he's Pretty... Oh, mine. <laughs> okay. Well, Mark. <laughs> Mark. You all right? You okay there, buddy? <laughs> well, that's rather interesting. <laughs> <laughs> fun, fun, fun. All right. Well, Mark, we can't let you sleep in the chair all day. You need to meet some more people. It's not even. Well, it is a bit late. Why don't you grab something to eat right quick? Or you could try cooking in the morning. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Grab me some food. How about um, some uh, French fries? Uh, did I? Well, I guess there's enough for everybody. <laughs> Did not realize that came as a... Yeah. 
Okay, she is rather tense. Okay, so he's just meeting people. And eating. Sort of. <laughs> okay, well, Mara seems to have cheered up a bit. Maybe ask these people some questions. Oh, Gotta be careful not to click, click these club. With this giant TV over here, he is not going to be able to help himself. And I think he finished eating. Doesn't look like all the servings are gone. Whoa! <laughs> that looked dangerous. Go so ahead and eat you some more of that. I forgot what we even were uh, fish and chips. It's not saying. Sibuna Torbal Farbe. Hana Kletz. Oh, Fina. Why is it in the say? What? I think I ordered fish and chips. I don't remember now. I kind of want to remember so that I don't accidentally order a whole platter of food. <laughs> I don't think you've met Bjorn yet. That's a... Oh! Ah! Bjorn's a slob too. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna grab one more serving and then we are going to take it home. Uh, can you just put that in your pocket? Uh, is that even a... I have a feeling that's not what's going to happen. Oh, wow, I really reset. <sighs> you lost your plate. Oh. Grab a serving and go home with it. Just take it home with you. No, 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 no. Don't leave it. No, don't clean it up either. I get, I guess. Okay, you go on home. You're tired. You got work in the morning. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have kept you out so late. Let's move you on along. And this... Is why the house is shoved way up against the edge of the lot. It was just too far to walk. Why are you out here? Go home. Alone. Mate, yeah. The front entrance was like way over here somewhere. It was just way too far to walk. So we put it as close to the actual road as possible. Alright, you are going to sleep. And I am going to do what I should have done initially and auto light everything. There you go.
So I intend to pretty much play through the first day of work for Mark. I'm not sure how that's going to go, really, because given Mark's traits, it's going to be very challenging for me to not be an overachiever. Oh, you're quite some The toilet's right there. <gasps> Holy crap! He overslept. Okay. Time to go to work. Apparently, it's not going to be as hard as I thought. <laughs> uh, now, when I do these active careers, and I've never really played the uh, detective one, but when I do these active careers, and mostly the scientist careers, the one I like, uh, I, I sh aim straight for getting everything done at work, and then I play for the rest of the day at work, doing what I want to do. Okay. I highly suggest you hightail it to the bathroom. Um, I know there was a little pop-up here. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to read it in the recording because I did not read it. <laughs> uh, but I see that we need to get a case assignment, which... We also, uh, I mean, which we clearly have to do at the computer. Okay. I'm totally going to revamp this place and I'm going to do it off camera. But I am not going to do it right now. Dylan Art? Hmm, how am I going to revamp this place? If Without bringing him into work, though. Hmm. Okay, he used the restroom and he did not wash his hands. He is hungry. Surprisingly, he ate quite a bit. Okay, what are you doing? You're browsing the web. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and start with your first assignment? You know, just get to it as you can. Uh, you are hungry. We'll probably go get you something to eat soon. Well, you're getting hungry. He's not technically hungry. <laughs> Assist with a crime scene investigation. Okay, that sounds like it could be fun. But first, I think Mark is going to... Hop up to the vending machine upstairs and grab himself a sandwich after he browses the web some more. Let's get you a sandwich. Come on. Now, while you eat that sandwich, why don't you get to know some of your co-workers? Let's do a friendly introduction over here. Uh, do a friendly in introduction over here. Well, maybe you should talk to one at a time. So we're just bouncing all around the place. We'll try not to waste all day doing this. We will go to the crime scene too. Ish. Dag dag. Ah, a flush. <laughs> so, Gina Sylvester. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. huh. Try not to queue up too much yeah, talking. Here. He'll never finish Shipping. the sandwich before he gets hungry again. Maybe <clears throat> Benet. I've been to these. Baroche. You not be a fora. <laughs> Nor Vadish. <laughs> See why. Oh, he has no reason to go to Geek Con. Oh. Sure, okay. Damn. Habare. I'd like to go to Geek Con. But... Numfra. Umnate ah. Unga. Eat your sandwich, Mark. Take a bite. Take a bite. And then you can talk mm -hmm. some more. 
you. Take another bite of your sandwich. <laughs> Who else is in this conversation? Shaji? If I am saying that correctly, probably not. I butcher names quite easily. Who is Seiji? Where is Seiji? Well, let's hop that door and walk right quick. This can't be too far, surely. <laughs> So Seiji, that's Chester Rust. Zikarai <laughs> Corbett. There he is, I bet. Uh, okay. And the introduction. Uh, you still haven't finished that bloody sandwich. You're even lazy about eating. Ganira Cebu. Hey, Weimbo. Hey boy, Pleva, there's Shursha, Burbacha Leaf, he's Beniba Whelm, Pator, Spolip Lamena, Jasapa Friff, Golarga Stumsa, yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Whipasu Palingo, Kanathoi, Spurbic huh? Zalga. Oh, Grobel. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really done with that sandwich? Whoa! Did you just put that in your pocket? Oh, no, okay. He's still eating. Okay. Now he's eating. If you put that in your pocket, you go ahead and, uh... Oh, that's not how you travel. Oh, is it? Wait. Yes. I thought you had to click on the map. Ah, here's the crime scene. It looks like uh, the Caliente residence. From here, anyway. Is it? I know they have a piano. Yeah. Yeah. It is. This is where the hamburgers pile up after they cook. They always, for some reason, drop the hamburgers in the bathroom. Okay, so we have to take crime scene pictures, three, get one witness report, and five clues. All right, well, let's have a look around. Mm hmm. Oh, they look, looks like there might have been a fire. There's definitely some soot around here. I do not see a witness. Oh! Maybe I do. Ah. Those are the two officers that were at the thingamajig. Okay, this is Riley Albright. Perry Srivastava. I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing it quite correctly. Uh, I am Brandon Barber. Okay, well, we'll start with this one closest. Uh, he's going to do a friendly introduction because that's what he does. She doesn't look to be in a terribly great oh. mood. She's definitely sad. Mark, are you coming over here? Ask her about We in a row. I guess we should get to work. Oh, Gosha. Take the witness report. Double horn cringy. Uh huh. Shemaya looks a little cerebin. Vadish. Oh. Horn. Harva boshi. Pwibs a fob. Oh. Vobin base wibs. Well, apparently nobody Where's died. The There's boy? no consoling to be done. That's what she does. Just in case she's like a criminal or something and turns out she's the one that... <laughs> Actually, he wouldn't think to do that. Only I would. <laughs> okay. She's a comedian. Alright. 
why don't you come over here and investigate some of this stuff? Uh, search for clues. Don't clean the floor. It's not a good idea. At a crime scene. Mark, Mark, where are you? Come on, Mark. There you go. Thought I sped it up, but it appears I did not. <sighs> Please, no, we's, no, we's, no. <laughs> okay, I see nothing. Okay. Well, is anything broken? Or who wants to check over here? Don't clean the floor. Oh, come on, Mark. Are you really going to read a book? Oh, look, there's something there on the floor. Ooh, take a picture. Okay, and collect the evidence sample. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with Oh, but we can take a picture. And collect the sample. Anything else seem odd? You could take a lazy nap. Uh, we might wait on that. Uh, anything else seem out of sorts? About the fridge. Oh, take an evidence picture. Collecting evidence sample. Oh, you might as well introduce yourself to these people while you're here. Ah, dag dag. Ah, dag dag. Oh, looks like something happened in this microwave as well. Mark? Let's see. We need three more clues. Uh, one more clue. Uh, is there anything over here? No, we could change clothes. Uh, search for clues. Oh. Good, uh, praise his work ethic. Oh, rookie there. Collect evidence sample. And there's another one right here. Snurbiapa pelzo, creambo a creech, choop, kuzip. Tuka? Oh. <laughs> this guy is rather tense. Also, who were I? Fin drop. Dag dag. Okay, I think we are done here. What are we doing right there? Okay, we got it. Um, how are you feeling? He's hungry again, but. I think the refrigerator is broken. Why don't you wash your hands right quick? How about one more time? I realize you're a slob, but come on. You're at work. That's why you have shoes on. Alright, let's get back to the station. Return to the police station. Okay. All right, here we are at the police station again. Now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. Okay. So we need to successfully use the chemical analyzer. Do you think you can do that, Mark? Mm hmm. Do you think you can successfully use the analyzer? Let's see. Something I never thought to check. Uh, in fact, something I'm going to go ahead and do right now, and I'm going to do it off camera, 
and I'm going to save first, is uh, uh, just so I, I need to move some of the stuff out of the way that blocks my view. Like the chicken wire they have up for no apparent reason that you can't see around. The clip. I, well, you can click through, but you know. Okay, this is. We're just going to save this as. Uh, okay. And then, yeah, I'm just going to uh, pause the recording right here. I'm saving just in case I forget to resume the recording. Okay, we are back. We have made a couple of changes, and they're just minor changes. Nothing even really worth pointing out, except that it, it's what you don't see. <laughs> that has been changed. Okay, so we're going to go analyze the evidence. We've got six evidence samples. So, Mark, you can't mess up more than five times. You've got less than two hours to do it. And you're going to need some time to go get some food. But basically, I took down all this chicken wire fencing they had all over the place. Replaced some of it with walls, took some of it out completely. Oh, uh, Paguna de Roy. De that's pretty much all I did. So how you doing, Mark? <laughs> Getting hungry again, huh? Oh, your machine there just disappeared on me. Have you successfully used the analyzer yet? Not yet. No, I'm just gonna have to try again. Fortunately, you've got. Where do you think you're going? Uh, he acquired the logic skill, <laughs> Okay, after this we'll go get you something to eat. And this time you can actually sit down and eat it. But of course you actually have to... Did your analysis fail yet? Or oh no, the notification just cleared off. Let's put that down. It failed again. Great, Mark. Give it another try. Maybe we should try a different one, <laughs> a different analyzer. To be honest, I've never seen it fail more than once. Well, looks like you're gonna get to try your hand at cooking when you get home today, Mark. Maybe we slept you off with something easy like a garden salad, but I think you're gonna be too hungry for a garden salad. Some great work. Okay, he earned a hundred and forty four dollars. That's actually less than the base pay of a hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> At twenty dollars an hour, eight hours a day? Yeah. Maybe we should have had him stay a little late. I don't think it would have made a whole lot of difference. Okay. So, you got your work day done. I'm gonna go ahead and cook you some food, let you settle in and watch some TV, and we'll end this recording. 
Mainly because I know better than to put Sims to sleep before you exit the game. They wake up, like, way later in the morning than you expected. Okay. Hunger is your primary issue. Nothing else is particularly pressing. I'm gonna cook. Uh, it is about dinner time. But we, uh, do something like, uh, should we serve dinner? I've noticed these days that, um, how much do you want to spend on this, Mark? Are vegetable dumplings any healthier than, say, mac and cheese or grilled cheese? Let's go with the mac and cheese. It sounds more filling. Oh, you have to actually move. Okay, well, no promotion today, but, you know, there's... Well, you aren't going to get promoted today anyway. I think you have to, uh... Show up to work at least twice first. You didn't do terrible. Your performance was good. Just, just not great. Uh -huh. Well, let's watch Mark cook. Oh. Oh. He has acquired the cooking oh. skill. Let's see how this goes. You have completed your first dish. All right. Oh, tell me you're not going to just stand there and eat. Hmm. Seriously? You're not going to watch TV or go sit on the couch or something? Just pick a show. Any show. Yeah! Yep. Mm. Are you watching the news? I suppose that would make sense. Okay. Well. Yeah. And she finishes eating. I suppose he'll use the restroom, probably. And we'll just save there. And there's not really any reason to go. What did you do with the plate? Ah, there it is. Okay, well, why don't you go on to the restroom? You can, if you wake up in time in the morning, you can get a bath. Hopefully you wake up in time. Oh, gosh, there was fire in the toilet. And you're not going to wash your hands. All right. And so here we leave Mark, watching TV, very intensely. He's happy. He's content. Yips. Yips. Everything is fine. Yeah, so that's just where we shall leave him. So, um, if you're enjoying this, then, uh, please leave me some feedback. Um. But well, even if you're not enjoying this, leave me some feedback. A thumbs up, a thumbs down, um, some suggestions in the comments. Um, but yeah, it'll probably take a few episodes to really hammer out some good story to it. So I'm gonna get to work on that now. So goodbye, all, and see you next time.